Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Thomas Bark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about proxies and VPNs. I'm going to actually be doing a speed test with TorGuard's proxy versus TorGuard's WireGuard VPN use. And now what is the difference? I'm just going to give a basic summary here. Well, basically a proxy is going to be pretty much safe enough. It's going to hide and give you a new shared anonymous IP. Your ISP will still be able to see that you're torrenting with P2P activity. However, you're not going to get any copyright letters or anything like that for torrenting anything. Now with a VPN, it's going to actually encrypt all your outgoing traffic on your computer. So your ISP won't really be able to tell what you're doing, not even be able to see that you're torrenting. In some cases, this can give you better speeds if your ISP is throttling you. But today we're going to be showing you the kind of speeds you can get with proxies because it's not something that many people talk about. And it's pretty cool to see how good of speeds you can get, as well as just the convenience factor of never having to turn your VPN on. Uh, VPN on, you could just keep the proxy enabled in the settings. Now with TorGuard specifically, they do include the proxy, um, which is only a $5 a month or $30 a year for their VPN package that includes the proxy in, within it without any additional cost. Not every VPN does this. A lot of other VPNs don't even include proxies. Something like ExpressVPN unfortunately doesn't. Some other VPNs as well on the list don't either. So this is probably my go-to VPN for torrenting. Uh, it's always been like that on the channel as well. And that's one of the reasons why, because of the, it's so good for torrenting with proxies. So guys, let's go ahead and see what kind of results we can get here while torrenting a basic Ubuntu file. All right, guys, so we are now connected in the tools, options, connection tab. We have proxy.torguard.org, port 1085 or 1080. Click all these boxes and enter in your TorGuard client credentials, and then you should be pretty good to do the proxy. And as you can see here, these speeds are nothing short of amazing. We're getting 80 down, 90 down now. Uh, it's not unfamiliar for me to go to 90 to 100 megabytes a second download here for these files, which including that my IP address is anonymized, that is stellar. Yeah, very nice. It's already done downloading. Downloaded 2.59 gigs in maybe like 10 seconds. All right, we are now connected to TorGuard's WireGuard with a close by server. We just want to load in that file again, and then we're going to compare it to these insane peaks that we got. Um, so ideally I'm looking for 30 to 40, 40 plus would be nice. Um, that's pretty much the fastest you're going to get with VPN. There we go, 42, nicely done. TorGuard has one of the fastest WireGuard's implementation. Uh, it also did win, holy, these are fast beats tonight. Damn, that is smoking. For VPN on, by all means, 44, nice. Um, so TorGuard did win the community speed test. It was tested as the fastest VPN worldwide, not just on my computer, just to show you the legitimacy of these tests that I run. They're also pretty consistent around the world, making it one of the fastest VPNs here on the channel ever. Um, you know, that's what happens when people test VPNs and don't have any other outside influences like commission rates or sponsorships or anything like that. Um, so there you go. Um, that is a good, really good result from WireGuard TorGuard. As you can see from this test though, TorGuard's proxy is just amazingly fast. Um, the reason is, is because you're not encrypting anything, you're just changing IP. So this would be more of my like realistic speeds without VPN on. Suffice to say 44 in that 35 to 44 area is still plenty fast, very fast. This is just quite amazing. Um, so what is the conclusion of this video? Well, Sox5 Proxy from TorGuard is an excellent solution for torrenting um, as well as the WireGuard as well. If you want to purchase TorGuard and help support the channel, go ahead and use code TOMSPARK. You're going to get 50% off the normal package. If you want to get the Tom uh, VPN, if you want to get the TorGuard Pro Bundle, it includes like a dedicated IP, which can be useful for unblocking certain websites and stuff like that. They also have the streaming bundle, which is good for unblocking streaming services, since it gives you two streaming IPs to unblock certain areas around the world. And code Netflix will work for that. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video comparison between the proxy and um, the normal VPN, just to show you what kind of speeds you can get with one and how to use it, etc. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you again very soon.